What's going on? It's the average gamer, and welcome back to another video. We are carrying on with, I want to say, part 12. Yes, part 12 of our Alloweight Remastered Let's Play. This is episode 5, part 2. We just had a mental battle and a bit of a nuts time going through the uh, town with Sarah. And it kind of appears that actually she believes us and she kind of gets what's going on, which is good. We're not alone, it would appear. Thank God. Finally, someone believes us that we're not completely crazy. I am carrying straight on where I left off. And we're just going to get straight into it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you are enjoying it. And follow my Instagram, link down below. Keep up with everything I'm getting up to. And let's just get straight on with this. Because it is so much fun. We're off to go and find Cynthia Weaver. The creepy lady with the light. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. And Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I don't like being in a helicopter right now. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. All these birds and... Yep, look at it. Evil thing. Here we go. I said it was happening. Oh, hello. Well, this isn't good. Please say I have my things. Oh, great. I hate these birds. Oh my life. That's a lot of ammo. I really liked my heavy duty flashlight and my shotgun and... Okay, I don't want to go in there. Hey, coffee thermos, yay. All right, we keep on going. Oh, this, I, I don't want to go through there. How do I get through there? The darkness controls are taken. Well, I kind of figured that one out, to be honest with you. How do we get through here? Is there something that my tiny little brain is missing? I've probably got to shoot that, haven't I? Do something about the chain for the door to open. All right, what do we do about it? Okay, I'm now uh, at a loss, and I've got to figure this one out. I'm not the smartest person in the world, so uh, do I? Do I need to shoot it? Am I missing something? Oh, right. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do it first time. Oh, will you do me a favour? Oh, no! We're going to die straight away. Yeah, yeah. That, went, that was a great start to the episode. Welcome, I'm the average gamer. In case you're not here before, and I'm shit. Oh, this isn't good. At least we have an unlimited supply of ammo. Oh, that helps. Oh, keep dodging. Come on. Matrix style, bitch. Oh, no, that's not good. Come on. Oh, 
Into the light! Into the light! Run into the light, please! Oh, for fuck's sake! <sighs> Not a fan when things don't go well. Yeah, shotgun. Okay, now I'm happy. Alright, I know that I don't listen to the radios because mainly they're so quiet, but I'm going to turn it on. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock well, Maybe it's getting louder. Oh, bloody hell! Come on. There's more of you! Yeah, fuck off. Where are you? Come on. Oh. That's what I wanted. I like the background music we got going on here. deal with this. Come on, just finish him off. Oh, we're going to get ourselves stuck here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm. How do I get stuck in that? There's a. I'm not having a good start to this episode. We are seven minutes in. And I've died twice. All right. Maybe I need to not try and kill these guys. Come on, finish him. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go. Yeah. I beg your bloody pardon. Do they come back to life? Yeah, they do. They come back to life. Fuck it. I don't care whatever's in there. It can stay in there. I don't care about ammo. Seven minutes in and died twice. I am awful. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across. Okay. What have we got? Oh, yes. I can see it. I can see a flare gun. Come to me, my precious. Flashbangs as well. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Oh, it's intense. Hi. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, 
willow. Okay. Got ourselves some light. Relax yourself. You can die and all, come on. You don't deserve a shotgun, you just get a revolver. Alright, where's the quickest way through here? Come on, just kill him. So many of these big guys. I don't like it. Hey, a manuscript page. What's this one say? Have we missed loads off? Way through the water pipe alone. Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. So she's having having to deal with this for ages, it would appear, and she just I don't understand. We want a bloody break from it. All right. Intriguing. The story really just gets better and better as you play it. There's not many games where the story keeps you gripped. You know, I really think that even other horror games, it, it's not easy to do. So kudos. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Well, that was a waste, but I had to do it. Quick, grab your coffee. There we go. That was easy. If only they were all like that. Oh. And the level, the level design is always really good as well. Like, kind of, not puzzles per se, but just, it keeps you going. Why is there a chair up here? Oh well, Wake's plan. Come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. All right, I like that. So we, the, yeah, it makes sense. We've got to get to the. Uh, <clears throat> cabin and now if we can actually finish the manuscript we can write the ending because at the minute the ending is well, open ended all basically depends on us actually not dying and being captured by the darkness darkness captures us it writes a story the way it wants to and it takes over the town and well who knows what else it takes over oh yeah that looks like well I understand now how we cross it okay I don't like bridges in this game so I'll cross one and Fuck off! Arsehole! No! You don't jump out at me. Whew, I wasn't a fan of that. Alright, it's arming us up a little bit. Alright, let's go. Well, let me get to survive some sort of assault whilst we wait for the bridge to turn. Yeah. Come on, turn quicker. Please hurry up. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. You've got this, you've got this. Why is the bridge just going around in a damn circle? I'm not a fan of this. Don't make me go down another circle. Come on, Alan. Come on. Come on, run! You're so close! You're so close! Oh! Oh, thank God. Oh, I don't know if I had it in me to do another one. And of course, a TV that we can't really hear properly. But it turns out Alan Wake helped write some of the episodes for that. Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, oh, I have light support. Oh, that's cool. That is what I want. Come on, shine your lights, son. Oh, you're useless, isn't you? Curb. <laughs> ah, that was fun. I mean, how would you guys survive this sort of thing? Like, what would be your attack? Oh. Come on. Huh, psych. Come on. Help me out here, guys. Come on. Quick. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. But yeah. What would be your tactic? Like, how are you getting all this light? Uh, yeah, you can deal with the birds. I don't care. Oh, yes. Ow! I didn't think that through. Come on. Yeah, we now got lots of stuff. Flare gun ammo, flashbangs, shotguns. What more could a guy want? Oh, I'm excited to see how episode 5 turns out because obviously we're. Oh, bloody hell, right. Got worried there. Oh, where, where, where'd you go? Thunder and lightning. That's what we like to see. Safe haven. Is the entire I the logo on the power plant sign? I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. So has she been like, oh, coffee thermos. Has she been keeping us safe then? Also, who just lives in a power plant? Like, who allows people to do that? Oh, hello. 
Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Oh, it's so bright. I like it. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What do you need to drive the darkness back? built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You think the way he rules up then, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Oh, I got the secret route. A big route. Old water pipe. Something was damaged at the transformer yard. Power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Okay, that's a bit nuts, but we now know what we got to do. We've got to go back outside, kill all the power to transform so that we can actually... Well... Do whatever it is we're meant to be doing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have a flashbang. That was probably a bit overkill. I just went a bit nuts. Yeah! Rule number one, never go out at night. Well, we kind of broke that rule, didn't we? So I, I got... see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. easy I was expecting that puzzle to be a lot harder rule number two keep the lights on yeah she's a sensible lady and yes we got ammunition oh well that's hardly fair Okay. Okay, come on. I'm coming, Weaver. Please don't let me die a horrific death. Have that. I ain't got time for your shenanigans. I've never noticed it recharge before. I don't know if... What the hell? I don't... Oh, right. You... Oh, shit. Fire! Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, I like... Spunk all this ammo.
How do I get to her? Oh, okay, can I go? Can I go back the way I kind of came, or because that was an electric gate? Do I need her to open it for me? I don't know. Oh no, the things are very good. Come on, come on, come on. Open the door. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? How long have we been recording here for? All right, no worries. I wish that was an easier way to check on the PS5. Way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. Whatever you say, crazy lady. This way. We need to go. Yeah, I'm going. What's she on about? And woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. Which looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. <sighs> he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. So Tom lost Everyone someone, tried to write her back, and instead created the darkness. Happened again. And yeah, us. as you do. He trusted me. Oh, yes. Used me a little. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the hunting rifle for a bit. Because it's always fun. I built the well lit room right there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story we have written. And none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with Blake. The darkness stays with you. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea now. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Oh crap. Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Sorry guys, I accidentally unplugged my headset and when you do that you have to kind of plug everything back in. She knew how to stay safe. Alright, Barry, please be alive, my friend. And Sarah, she was badass. I want them to live. Don't put me through emotion. I'm not ready for it. Alright, let's read the manuscript. The falling Sarah helicopter. Was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadow swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Oh, Barry, I hope you're okay, my friend. Also, I'll try not to unplug my headset again. It's really annoying on the PS5. When you unplug, like, one device, whether it be input or output, you have to kind of do, the, do it all again. That's psych. You ain't gonna touch me. Yeah, I got some ammo. 
Just don't make me kill Barry, that's all I ask. I can't do it. Oh, I could have just cut through there. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, how'd that happen? That's what I missed. Oh, that's what I missed. <laughs> Idiot. Silly boy. No, you don't. Barry, I'm coming, baby boy. Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. <gasps> I'm coming, guys. The well lit room. Ha <laughs> ha! Forget Alice, forget everyone else. There's a flare! As, as long as Barry makes it through alive. I'm here! Yeah! You ain't messing with Alan Wake today, people! Alright. You have to hold on. Just hold on for one minute. That's all I ask. I'm coming. I ran away. Haha, <laughs> I left you to die. No, I wouldn't do that. I saw that and got excited. What's in here? No, oh, nothing. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Oh, it's okay, buddy. All right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. The flaming eye of Mordor. Love it. Oh, we're taking an elevator in this mental state. All right. Yeah, it's all right. Well, I got news for you. This thing does. Do what? Exactly. Don't know, but just get into the light and we're fine. God, you're such a bunch of crybabies. <gasps> Yay, coffee. <laughs> no. We're never safe. Wait. I don't want... I want that. There we go. Flag and ammo. Let me guess. We're going to have to... Go up them stairs, probably. And survive some sort of assault. Yep. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Triple kill. Hell to the year. Yeah, we'll be fine. We have the flaming eye of Mordor on our side.
see, Flaming Eye Mordor kicks ass. Come on. Is it here? Come on, concentrate your fire, people. I'm not going to get you killed. I'm just finishing the job. I'm a badass, Barry. Relax yourself, Christmas tree. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wayne? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. <clears throat> oh, she's crazy, but she's fucking clever. Hey, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or... I like that they cover yeah, their faces. Well, it was real. As opposed to what? Be uncareful and let them kill us. Alright. Oh, I've got to hold it. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Let's see how it is. Right, how do I reach the top of the dam? Uh. Oh, jeez! No, bye. Adios, amigos. Oh, manuscript page. What's it say? Zane Shoebox. He had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Well, it didn't really work, did it, Zane? You fucking idiot. Absolute nut job. Alrighty, oh, we're carrying on. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I forgot about that. Right, come on. Reach top of the dam. This guy's not even got the stamina for a five minute bang session, let alone this. I wonder Alice is angry at him. Come on. Oh, my life. Alan Wake, don't become an Olympian. That's all I'm saying, bro. Mo Farrell will eat you alive. Okay, that happened. Where does... Ouch! Yeah, that's right. Back up. I'm climbing. Oh, yay. Spotlight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even... I mean, the flare gun could help. You think this is outnumbered?
Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, come on, we got this, we got this. Where are you? Where are you? Fire! There we go. Oh, hello. I'll do what the fuck I want, love. Have I got to outrun something? Alan, I know you're slow as shit, but now's the time to find that adrenaline part of you that wants to live and just run. Come on. I don't know if that's going to help popping a flare. Come on. Come on, you got this, bro. Oh, my life. Come on. Coffee. Yep, good. Run. Oh, bloody hell. I pressed X and he didn't jump. I pressed X and you didn't jump. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Alan, you fucking idiot. I uh, don't like it. Come on. But if you can dodge a dark, you can dodge a ball. That's what this crap is. Grab the coffee. Come on, grab the coffee. Right. No, why are you? What is wrong with you? Muppet! Imbecile! Blumbering buffoon! Right. Thank you. Come on. Just run. Oh, Jesus. That brings a new meaning to if you can dodge a car, you can dodge a ball. Oh, my life, no. Oh. Save me, please. Oh, my life. That's got the heart racing. That's really got... Oh. Good. Okay, swap sound. Um, oh, terrifying. It's just too much right now. I'm glad I don't have a heart condition. <clears throat> okay, it's your place, crazy lady. All right, let's see what we get. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because six is 
33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. You got it, lady. Don't you worry. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally... Is Thomas Zane Alan's father? Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. That's weird. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Move your leg out of the way, lady. Bloody hell. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is the end of episode five. I'm going to guess. Is it? Maybe it's not. It is, okay. Oh, that was a crazy episode. The story's getting so much fun. I love it. It just gets better and better. I hope you enjoyed that one, ladies and gents. We are nearly at the end. I love the music as well. It's so good. Dun, dun, dun. Brilliant music. We're almost at the end of the story. I'm going to be sad to finish it because it's been so good. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Let's Plays. Follow me on Instagram down below. I'm going to finish this. I'm excited. Hope you enjoyed, guys. I've been The Average Gamer. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.